go to start programs uh, Bentley and find Ecosim building designer and uh, launch uh, that which I've done and as you launch it it'll uh, stop at a file open dialog and just uh, select the S underbar steel high-rise DGN file you can see the name up here on the top and then when you come on in to Ecosim building designer why this is what you'll see uh, and this is the uh, complete steel structure this particular model which we could uh, bring this on into um, um, you can see here it's quite there's quite a lot of uh, steel involved in this 14-story uh, uh, tower uh, that's being designed in Ecosim building designer and uh, this is an isometric view of it that we have here you can see there we can just rotate around and things and here's the top view and a front view an elevation uh, of the uh, steel structure as examples in Ecosim building designer when you get it there's a high-rise example with steel and the architectural modeling components uh, they're referenced together to make composite uh, drawings and then from that you make drawing sheets and detail sheets and everything to do with the design process uh, of the building everything I should say except for the engineering analysis of the loads and the stresses on these members typically in the design cycle uh, d an experienced designer will put together the design uh, and usually they're quite good at knowing what member sizes and things to use they do it from experience and then those models are sent to an engineer uh, usually in a case like this it would be a professional engineer a PE and they'd use software like RAM elements or the RAM structural system to analyze and to make suggestions for improvements in the design that would go back to the designer and the designer would then uh, update and edit things and finish their drawing work and you can see how important ISM becomes uh, in the communication process between the designer and uh, the engineer okay so uh, real quick overview of Ecosim building designer uh, you can see that there's architectural design parts structural design uh, heating ventilating and air conditioning the mechanical equipment and the uh, plumbing analysis and design uh, uh, coordination where you'll find clash detection so the various disciplines who are coming together want to make sure that the piping doesn't run through uh, the steel and so on and then general 3d modeling and drafting and drawing composition that's all part of Ecosim building designer so for our purposes today we're going to focus on the structural design aspect of Ecosim building designer and once again this th these tools here are very much the same as what was called structural uh, modeler now those tools and functionality is integrated right into Ecosim building designer a very exciting and aggressive project uh, let's do a new file uh, in order to uh, see how it works without being encumbered <laughs> with an awful lot of detail let's just go here and say new file now the way MicroStation Ecosim Building Designer works we start files with what's called a seed file and it just has settings already set uh, that we want to use normally and let's use the design seed for structural work uh, as our seed file and we'll call it you can call it by your own name I'm gonna call it the uh, uh, class for this little class that we're doing right now and I'm gonna save that file and when I do it's gonna say oops do you want to save what you did to the big uh, high-rise uh, structures and I'll say no because I didn't do anything and um, so we'll leave that file uh, as it was so here we have our four screen typical layout and this layout is what would be found in that seed file a top view front view right view of course they're all empty I'm gonna double click on the isometric banner this banner at the top okay just a quick overview you can see the comprehensive a typical file uh, edit uh, element settings the pull downs up here at the top are things like uh, this is the active family the active part so if we're putting in new materials why we can uh, 
change to a different family of materials. So we're going to be using steel and a different a grouping uh, of that to get the part we want to use, like wind columns and main building columns and, um, and so on. We'll just put this main building columns uh, part. That, that will select a material, how to be rendered. If we're to do a rendering, uh, some information about drafting and so on, it'll automatically select that. Uh, here we can go, actually, we'll just do a real quick click on that. And we'll see, here's all the information um, about it. it. Is it an analytical part? Because we can build concurrently an analytical model and a, a graphic uh, for design and drafting model. And you can see the color and the level to put it on. All these things will go automatically on a level layer, if that term is familiar to you, that's according to the uh, national CAD standards and the tentative national uh, BIM standards. So there's a whole, all lot of uh, processing that goes on here that's helpful to us, uh, uh, to the structural designer, uh, the BIM project. Uh, as we work. So we could lay out a grid for our project, um, place main columns uh, and beams, and you can go on down. We can uh, uh, do a place steel cladding, uh, uh, a brace, vertical cross bracing. Uh, these are bar joists, little trusts that are uh, enveloped. Uh, we can have uh, concrete columns, uh, concrete uh, T-beams, and so on. So that you can see there's a lot of different, even down to stairs and railing, automatic railing, very nice tools for the designer. We're concerned about structures today, so we're just going to deal with columns and uh, beams. So let's uh, click on uh, a primary column to start our design, and we'll move right over to the uh, uh, graphics area, but this uh, big dialogue comes up uh, as an intermediate. So we've selected whatever is the default uh, section at this time. We can go here and there's um, a huge number of uh, sections uh, that are available for us that are already pre-designed. We can uh, use different placement points as you can see. We're going to use center, center, uh, we can use it offset, meaning it will be offset from our placement point. We can place it by the length at either end. It has a standard length, but we can change that, of course. We have automatic coping turned on. That just means when two members come together, it will automatically cut back so it fits in very nicely. And some other details. And we can also uh, deal with the, uh, the properties of the material. So, but let's just go ahead, and you'll notice that in uh, Ecosim Building Designer, in the structural section, the dialogues look very much like this, no matter what you're placing. So once you learn, kind of get the feel for that, it's really easy. So we'll come over here in our isometric and just place arbitrarily our column. Now you notice this little blue box comes up, and that's AccuDraw. That was invented in MicroStation, and it carries through uh, all the civil engineering and the uh, building engineering software products. You notice that the, it's square to the screen, to the view that we're looking at, but if, if I hit the letter T on my keyboard, then it reorients to the isometric top view. So this is like a top view, and so you can see I'm operating on a, on a given plane. Now another very nice feature, you see the little red tick, that's relative X, and green is relative Y, and if I get close to the uh, axis there, it indexes or soft locks uh, to that axis. And all I'm doing is just hovering over. It figures it all out. Once I see that dark line, I can just type the distance. So 2, 5. I don't hit the Enter key. Just uh, type 2, 5. Come over to my mouse and left click on my mouse, the left mouse button. And that's exactly spaced 25 feet apart. So if I come over here and I go down here, um, a distance, I'll get to a point. Now you see that there's a, a little uh, perpendicular short line there at the foot of that column. That's a feed out to me that's saying, hey, this is exactly 25 feet. Again, it's exactly the previous dimension. So I don't have to key in anything. I just left click. And then I can come on over one more time 
and see that see that tick mark appear there at the foot I can use that or there's another nice tool if I do hit the enter key while the line is highlighted there then no matter where I move my mouse it's going to stay along that line so I can come right up to this one see how it auto snaps to the foot of that column and it drops the little uh, projection line to tell me hey you're lined up exactly with that center if you'd like that so I can say okay fine left click there and then to end my placement of columns um, what what you do and this is true with almost all commands in microstation and in ecosystem building designer is you just simply right click quick right click and uh, that finishes that command and puts us back over here at the uh, uh, element selection so I'm ready to select some element in my model now we can also um, you know, place beams so we'll come over to the second icon place steel beam you notice the dialogue looks the same I'm just going to go ahead and select the 10 by 22 member now you notice the yellow X is an AccuSnap AccuSnapping to the top of the column and we move over notice the AccuDraw is still there see how quickly we don't have to key in a single thing we just come around and and we've got our uh, model built right click and there it is a simple little eight member uh, model with 10 by 45 columns and 10 by 22 pretty husky uh, model okay so let's uh, close that and um, I like to keep it in the element selection mode now there are a lot more things that we could learn uh, here's the most advanced tool if we click on that brings up this dialogue which is a place steel frame building the whole building the footing the pedestal the base plate the columns floor slabs everything all parametric we just have to the designer just goes through and specifies what the experienced designer thinks will be required place the structure and there it is we fit the view and we notice we have everything so let's just go ahead and um, render that let's say uh, illustration ignoring lighting and uh, there it is we've got um, see if you can see what's wrong with that design <laughs> if you notice something's wrong in the setting so that the the floor slabs come out on the uh, bottom of the joist instead of the top. It'd be an easy uh, correction to make, either in the uh, dialog or just simply by moving them up. But you see the here's the frame we placed in this automatic one, and you notice that um, there's the bait fl base plate, the pedestal, the foundation, the entire design of the building. I'm going to uh, either edit, undo or uh, control Z and get rid of that uh, automatic design so fit the view again we're going to just deal with our eight member uh, structure here to uh, take it on over to um, RAM elements for an, an analysis work before we go you might just look at the joint you know that it's smart enough to know that this uh, member could fit inside the column uh, these are to be welded together so it leaves a proper gap and uh, and it knows to butt it against this side so it's a really smart uh, designer that gives uh, the, de the design person uh, lots and lots of productivity now the designer would go ahead and make the drawings or perhaps not perhaps they would save this prior to doing the rest of the design work in order to get the approval of the engineer for their design so we would then want to export it and you notice there uh, with the structural modeler built into ecosim building designer we can uh, export in the cis slice 2 file format uh, the sdnf these are structural industry standard file formats and uh, we can import or export uh, those uh, formats but we also have our integrated structural modeling standard uh, to deal with and you see that what we have here is create an ism repository 
or create a new file in our uh, here from the repository or uh, after having made changes update our existing repository or update from so we can update the repository from changes we've made here or we can update here from changes made to the repository and those changes can be made in different software so that RAM elements if it decides some members should change we can uh, make the changes in RAM elements come back here and see what changes uh, were made and then make our decision whether to accept or not okay well, we're going to just uh, create from here an ISM repository so I left click on that icon and up comes the export uh, dialog so this is going to say we want to export as a the name we gave it was class so class.ism integrated structural modeling dgn dgn means it'll be in the the standard format of microstation but modified a more condensed version with extra structural information which is why it has the pre prefix of ism and the file name that we have class and you can see where it's going to put it building sample us design it's going to put it right where we uh, got the file in the first place where we got our seed file and where we're putting our file we're going to export all the members we see we have steel columns steel beams everything looks good so we're going to go ahead and export and we get our uh, hourglass and after a moment of doing all the conversion and the work it does why it'll process all these members and put them into the ism repository uh, format then in another uh, video we're going to go in from RAM elements and find a ism repository that we just created and bring this model right on into RAM elements